Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate on your website that's hosted with Namecheap. Now typically uh, Namecheap gives out a lot of free SSL certificates for your first year. That's great, uh, but they don't have the ability to, you know, by default get a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. I think the cheapest SSL certificate that you can get is like $8.88 per year. Um, but if you know what you're doing, then you can actually install a free SSL certificate for any one of your websites or all of your websites if you have more than one. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial video. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Um, I have this website, uh, site4.xyz, hosted on Namecheap. We will confirm that in a second. Uh, but right now, it uh, does not have an SSL certificate installed. So if you go to https colon slash slash this website, um, connection is not private, it's not secure, we don't have a cert installed. So let's go ahead and fix that. I want you to go into your uh, Namecheap dashboard here, log in with your username, password, and then go click on your dashboard tab. Um, depending on whatever uh, plan you have with Namecheap, whether it's the the business or, you know, there's different types of types of plans, uh, you should have access to a cPanel. So find the domain name that you signed up with and then click on this little server icon right here. And then you can click on the link to go to your cPanel. Um, and I just want to point out that although the domain name associated with this product is not um, the domain name site4.xyz. That's still how you configure that domain name and all of your domain names within the one C panel that you used uh, to sign up with this domain name. So anyway, that opened up in a new tab over here. This is what C panel looks like. And what we want to do is come down here to the um, terminal which is in the advanced section, click on that. And this is gonna open up com a command prompt into the server, which your websites are installed on. So I have a bunch of websites, um, as you can see here, uh, associated with this. A lot of them um, aren't active, but this is uh, just an example of the fact that you can host multiple websites. And if you wanna learn how to do that, I have a video on that. Um, anyway, without getting off topic, we're going to use a script uh, that is available publicly on GitHub. It has a lot of support in order to issue a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, which is free, a free SSL certificate um, for your website. It's very uh, legit. I actually use it for all of my production websites at this point. Um, and uh, let's go through that process right now. So we're going to use the curl command to get that script on a, onto our server. So curl HTTPS colon slash slash get dot acme acme dot sh and then uh pipe that to sh so what that's going to do is download this um and pretty much create a subdirectory here in your the root of your uh wherever you're located right now your home directory called dot acme dot sh so if you look at dot acme dot sh we'll see um an executable here We'll see some other configuration files, uh, and that's kind of how it looks like right now. Now, in order to uh, issue an SSL certificate for a domain name, uh, let's just do an LS, show you again that we do have site4.xyz hosted here. And what we're gonna do is um, uh, execute this command with some arguments. So we can do that relatively with dot acme.sh, and then the executable acme.sh, and we're gonna do dash dash issue, dash D for domain, the domain name that we want to issue the SSL certificate for. So for me, that's site4.xyz and then dash W. And we're going to give it the path to the full path to our, um, our, the root of our website, which is right here. So, uh, you can, you could probably do this, uh, relative as a relative path, but let me just cancel out of this. I want you to do a PWD to see the, the full path to that directory. So, um, we're gonna do again, actually I'll just copy it to make it easier. Um, so what we just typed before, dash W and then the full path. So dot, uh, slash home slash C-U-G, that's my username. And then site for dot XYZ, which is the root of our website directory. And then when we hit enter, this will go ahead and verify that you own that domain name um, and go out to Let's Encrypt, get the SSL certificate, and put the SSL certificate on your server. Now, the, the, we this is this is actually the content of your SSL certificate right here. Um, 
there's also, and that, that is contained within this file, uh, within the .acme.sh directory. We also have the key file for your SSL certificate, um, the cert uh, and the full chain. So um, the, the CA, the, the certificate authority cert and then the full chain. So what we have to do now is go back into cPanel and take these certificates, pretty much copy and paste them into the SSL section of cPanel for this domain name. So let's do that next. And I think the easiest thing to do here is to just make this like half screen so we can still look at the terminal window and then make this one uh, the other half, something like this. Okay, so um, same thing as before, find that uh, cPanel link here in your dashboard and we'll open that up again. Uh, oh, we're not allowed to have two tabs open. Okay, so we'll have to do this um, more manually. So what, what, what I want you to do is go to the SSL section here. Um, actually, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna need to get those SSL certificates. We'll, we'll copy and paste them temporarily and then um, we'll come back in here and get them again. So, okay, so the SSL certificates are located in the acme.sh directory inside of your new folder in here called site4.xyz or whatever your domain name is. And then you want to get your certificate. So let's take a look at that with cat site4.xyz.cert. And then we're gonna copy this from begin certificate all the way down to end certificate. So let's copy that. I'm just gonna copy it off the screen here so I have it. Uh, I recommend you do the same thing and then let's see what else we got in here. We have the, do, 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 we're probably gonna need the key, which is right here. So let's copy that. We'll cat the key as well. And then we'll go from end RSA private key uh, up to begin RSA private key. So we'll copy that, paste it. Now let's go back to our C panel, um, go to that SSL section click on SSL TSL under security. We don't want the Namecheap SSL, we want this one. Click on that and we want to, under the uh, install and manage SSL for your website, click on manage SSL sites. And then down here at the bottom, we want to install an SSL website. So pick your domain name from the list. I'm going to pick site4.xyz and then I'm going to go back over here to where I copy the certificate, um, copy that and paste it into here. And then the private key back over here, I'm gonna copy that and paste that in. And um, the thing about the, any of it says it here, in most cases you don't need to supply the CA bundle. So we, we had the CA bundle, you remember that, but um, you can optionally fill that in too if you want to. But what I'm gonna do is install this. This should be sufficient. And that'll take a few seconds. Okay, so SSL host successfully installed uh, for site4.xyz hit OK. Let's go back to our website and verify that that's actually the case. So if we refresh the page, we'll still get the HTTP version, but if we explicitly go to HTTPS colon slash slash site4.xyz, hit enter, uh, we do get that error still. And I'm thinking it's probably a caching um, issue. So I'm gonna open up my Chrome Dev Tools and make sure the disable cache option is selected here. And I'll see if that works. So refresh the page and give it some time to think. Nope, that did not work. So what I'm gonna do is get out of this window altogether, open up an entirely new guest window because I am still thinking it's a caching thing or maybe it's a timing thing and it just hasn't propagated yet. So let's go to HTTPS colon slash slash site four dot XYZ, hit enter. Moment of truth. Nope, we're still getting connection is not private. Um, and it's not secure. That is so, so odd. Uh, let me pause the video and I'll catch back up with you when I figure out what's going on here. Okay guys, I'm back and it was literally just a matter of time, probably 30 seconds later, I refreshed the page and the, uh, the, the HTTPS version of the website worked. As you can see, we have the like the lock icon up here. 
Um, so let's take a look at our certificate, which, like I said, uh, was issued by Let's Encrypt. So um, that's about it. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, if you got any value of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from me like this in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.